I am Basil. My story begins with an end, and ends with a beginning. I was part of a team of eight soldiers, chosen to participate in a mysterious mission in an abandoned camp. On the first week of our arrival, I suffered a serious injury during training and fell into a coma. I fought death during that time, and I couldn't remember anything except hearing my comrades fighting death on the other side. I would hear their screams from time to time until silence filled the place. I had no idea how much time had passed during my coma. It is certainly not a short time, but my story didn't end there. It had just begun. It only just begun, Mr. Basil. Mr. Basil. How long have I been in bed? Well, nobody knows. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. That's we may or may not be repeating ourselves, so There's a tear in the mattress. Mmm, need a sharp object. There's a letter. Uh, to to the friend of yesterday and the enemy of the future, Basil. I know you will read this letter after I have left you alone, but I have no other choice. I left the camp after learning the bitter truth, a truth you are yet to discover. One that will weigh heavy on your heart as the years pass. I was supposed to leave you here to die, but harsh reality shows me that it won't happen. Even if I tried, I feel a wildness that pushes me to let you endure the pain. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I know you'll carry the burden of those events in your heart for years to come. I leave you this letter as a sign of what happened. You don't understand it now, but you'll surely understand later. I have no choice but to leave you here. In this dark island and this cursed camp we will meet again but in what manner okay spooky i don't understand mm. no you don't he said you'll understand later basil it's locked no shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what are the control are there controls controls no there's no controls it's, i guess it's just simple wesd and exploration hmm nice who are they people soldiers Don't remember closing the door behind me. Automatic closing of the doors. I might want to adjust the settings just a tiny. No. Oh, you know how guys don't have brightness settings. Oh, I'll increase the camera sensitivity a bit though. How dare they not make allow me to make this brighter than what I want it to be? Because I'm not scared. Well, shh. The rain suddenly stopped. Amazing. Who's Shit the bed. <laughs> Is he crying? It must be the exit from this place. Yeah, sure, it's some kind of exit. I don't like it when I hear crying. Gate is closed. I might be able to open it through the control room. Uh, that's interesting how, um, so the camera is like, uh, 
like it's turning for me towards where I need to go next. So that's kind of a neat way of doing it. No, bloody lot. I think the door is locked with a key card control device, but I doubt I'll be able to use it with the power outage. Oh, convenient. Um, I think it can be fixed. What was that? I guess I need to search around to find useful item. Anything can be fixed. Why, where is the crying man? That's what. Hello? Okay, that's nice. One fuse is missing. Of course, one fuse is missing. Why wouldn't it be? Can I crouch? Can I do anything? Ah, tape. Ah, yes, electrical tape. The solution. Might be useful. Ah, uh, inventory. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's all I have. Okay. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure. We could tape up the, um... Where is the sad man? Are those automatic lights? Because that would be weird if there's just a bunch of people out there moving the lights around and, you know. Yes. Did it work? Yes. Way hey! <laughs> um... I have my alarm still on for some reason. I'm already awake. I don't need it. So. I need a key card. Yeah, I need a key card. This man talks with an air of mystery about him. Do you hear that? That's weird. It's some. Um... Okay. I don't like it. I like this about as much as being stabbed in the eye of a spork. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Anyone there? No, no. No, no one's there. Okay. Let's see, guys. Come on. Let's go in here. Ah, oh, beautiful. Is, is this the vacation lounge? Is this where we come to relax and blow off some steam? Ah. Get it. Okay. The steam is blocking my way. It is blocking you. Find a way to stop the steam flow. Steam is blocking my way. Traffic guns? <laughs> I just I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know if it's not really. Behind every hour lie hours. I feel like there's a clue. Yeah, I know it's locked. You needed something sharp though. Come on, Basil. Fucking sprint. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I don't think I want to climb into the water. Oh, look, another letter just lying out on the ground. I never imagined that our trip would turn into a nightmare. I was enjoying my stay in the camp, beside, despite the fact that it was on a remote island, remote and lifeless island. I came with my colleagues to do our duty towards the country, and we saw it as a great opportunity to learn something new and get away from the pressures of the city. But what happened recently was quite the opposite. Uh, as unusual things began to appear, oh, as unusual things began to appear on the island. Some of my colleagues complained about losing some of their belongings, and some of them said that they saw and heard strange things in the middle of the night. I did not believe them at first, and I thought they were exaggerating, until I myself witnessed a terrifying incident last night. I heard some noises and scary screams in the basement that is used as a prison in the camp. 
I went to see what was happening, but I found the basement door locked with a chain. I was so afraid, I did not dare to open it, so I quickly went back to my room and tried to sleep. When I woke up in the morning, I found a leak in the steam room. But the problem is not here. But what? But that the valve I need to stop the flow of steam has disappeared. And if I do not find it soon, there might be damage and lo losses, I guess. Not losers, losses in the camp. I search for it everywhere without success. I do not know who took it. Does the chaos that happened last night have anything to do with its disappearance? I tried to ask for help from the commander and tell him everything that happened. But I did not see him since last night. I wish I could get out of this island before I go crazy and something or something bad happens to me. Yeah. Get off the island. I can plug a valve in here. You can plug a valve in there, but you need a valve. Ah, there's a sharp knife. Maybe the valve is under the bed like the blanket. Ah, there's a basement there. Don't like a body of water here, that's... <laughs> what the hell? Holy crap! Like, what the hell? Anyone there? Hello? Who is driving? No one is inside the vehicle. Of course there isn't. Why would there be anyone inside the vehicle? I'm gonna run back, because now I'm terrified. I'm gonna run back because I'm not terrified, but I want to go see what's under that bed. Dooby dooby doo, Basil. The great mouse detect. The what the. Where did this hanging corpse come from? <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Basil, you're seeing shit. Hello? Man, everyone's just hanging about. Having a blast. Alright. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I didn't expect to find the guard's card in here. No, you didn't. I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't expect a body to round and lay up here hanging from the ceiling. That's inconvenient. Okay, okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right, come on, Basil. Let's go and check out this room. Yes, yes. It's working. Of course, it's working, Basil. Oh, and a key, a locker key. Can we turn off this radio? That's really creepy. Ah. Anyway, I can't sleep. Well, I won't be able to sleep with that not really, like creepy child singing into the radio. Um, something inexplicable happened. It was a normal night, like any other night. I was in the control room watching Lost. <laughs> what a great show to watch when you're on an island there eh? and drinking tea when it was midnight. I saw something in the steam room through the monitors. I wasn't sure what it was, so I left the control room and went to the steam room. Well, that makes sense. Uh, when I entered the steam room, I didn't find anything strange, but I heard some weird noises behind me. But the room was empty. Suddenly, I heard the door closing hard behind me. I went to the door and tried to open it, but was locked so tightly I couldn't get out. I felt panic and fear. I didn't know what happened, so I shouted at the top of my voice, hoping someone would help me. Then I heard a sound from outside as if someone was pulling out the fuse to disable the door. The door lock. Then the door opened and I ran into the control room and didn't look behind me. I have no explanation for what happened and I don't know who closed the door and who helped me. But it's something that can't be ignored. Surely not, no. I suspect the crazy geologist, for he may have something to do with what has happened. Oh, great. Uh, or he may be telling the truth in his explanations of everything that happens. But what I do know 
is that this camp is not safe anymore. Since we arrived at the camp, strange things keep happening. I'll leave this note here in case something happens to me. Did something happen to you? Don't like that. I guess the lever is useless with the unstable electricity. But I might find a way to keep the electricity stable. So that probably mean <sighs> Really? Why did you have to put children's music? I really don't need that in my life. Why do I play these games? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I punish myself? I like the horror games because I like the stories. Did I get into this earlier? Oh yeah, this is the steam room. Okay, but I need something for the steam. We're going on a holiday. A bolt cutter has been. Even time in this place suffocates in mystery. Time is all over the place. Just the clock of. Ah, oh, you shitting me. What is happening here? People are dead, Jim. That's what's happening. I was gonna say, if that body's moved again, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Oh my god. The dead surround me from everywhere. What are the bolt cutters for? I don't like it. I don't remember the fog being this thick. That's a bad sign. Of course it is. Of course it's a bad sign. Oh, I don't like the sounds. I don't like this anymore. I really hate it. Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you do this to yourself? Have I got to go down here? Yes, of course I have to go down here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <gasps> Is he the same guy I saw in the window? I didn't see anyone in the window earlier. I didn't see anyone in the window. I got a reading section where I don't have to worry about what's going to murder me. A warplane crashes on a deserted island, killing the pilot. Are we all dead? In a tragic incident. Why does this feel like a spin on the Lost Souls? Is the Lost? Is that what happened in the Lost? Like was it all a dream or something? I can't remember. Anyway, in a tragic incident, a jet belonging to the National Air Force crashed on a deserted island located in a remote area of the sea, killing the pilot who was flying it. According to official sources, the jet was on a military mission over the camp that is located on the island, which has been witnessing violent clashes with the rebels. The cause of the crash is not yet clear. But there are suspicions that it may have come under fire from one of the war warring factions. The Army General Command announced an investigation into the incident, mourning the pilot and praising his bravery and sacrifices in defense of the country. They stressed that this incident would not deter them from the continuing from continuing oh, would not deter them from continuing to fight the rebels and maintain security and stability in the country. Expressing condolences to the pilot's family and colleagues. Ah, the truth room. I love the arm, oh, dude. I didn't want to be doing math at this time in the morning. Someone is trying to understand what really happened to this place. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, oh, six pages of reading, guys. Get ready. I came to this island to do my duty as a soldier and as a geologist, but it has been a month since I was arrested by my commander who accuses me of spreading rumors and myths among the soldiers and affecting their morale. They locked me in a dark and cold cell, not allowing me to communicate with anyone. 
They took away all my weapons, my uniform, and my identity, leaving me with only this note and a pen. Convenient. It's been three days since I last saw a guard come into my cell. No one gave me food or water, and I feel dehydrated and weak. I'm afraid to die of hunger and thirst in this dark place. What happened to everyone in the camp? Did they leave? Or perhaps they all disappeared like the others? Yes, when I was going... When I was doing geolo when I was doing geological measurements at C2 area, I accidentally detected extraordinary fluctuations in the camp's electromagnetic field. Fluctuations far beyond the normal limits. After many measurements, I've concluded that this camp is located above a very strong electromagnetic field. And this field causes disturbances in time. Wow, what a conclusion! Causing some strange phenomena such as the appearance of things that do not belong to this time in the form of flashes that occur randomly in different places of the island. These flashes are only reflections of events from the recent past, allowing for a partial transfer of matter and energy between time and space. But randomly and unstable for a few seconds, this is quite the hypothesis. I saw some of these flashes with my own eyes. Okay, well, you know, maybe, maybe he's got some credit here. And I was terrified and surprised. I have personally seen corpses of soldiers from old wars, and I have also seen a warplane flying over the island. Strange sounds and lights heard and seen at night. And things moving from one place to another for no apparent reason. I have a lot of questions. So I decided to share my findings with my colleagues and ask them to help those to help answer those questions. But they did not believe me and reported me to the commander who came to me and ordered me to be taken away by force. He said I was spreading rumors and causing panic among the soldiers. And that I was obstructing the performance of our mission and then he threw me into the cell. And here I am now, trapped in this dark place with no hope of salvation. I don't know what happened to my colleagues or to those who disappeared. Maybe they are in another place at another time, or maybe it was me who disappeared. Okay. The closer I get to discovering the truth, the less the I know. Mysterious it becomes. <laughs> the more I close the door. Ah, um. No. Oh. So I'm seeing like flashes from the past. Is that another hanging body down there? I have to think carefully before going down the stairs. Nope. <gasps> oh my god. What is happening to me? What the hell was that? I can't go in the water anyway. Okay. That's good. I never really wanted to go into the water, because, you know, stuff. Yeah, but I haven't got, I haven't got anything to put in that. I'm just... Mm. Oh, the body's gone. I look at these doors that open both ways. Makes my life easier. No. I just, you know, when you feel like you might, might have missed something important before you progress. 
because that's how I feel. I'm not obviously trying to avoid going into that basement even further. But when he said, I'm not ready for this yet, it's like, does that mean there is potentially something else here? The time has not changed. Uh, nothing under the bed. I guess I have to go down there. I don't really have any choice in the matter. Oh, well. Not like I wanted to be up here anyway. Nothing around the vehicle. Let's go through this door again. Let's go back downstairs again. Yes. Don't like it. Don't like it. I think the body was recently hung. Oh. I can't pull the lever. There is an electrical problem. Ah, sweet. Yes. What next is going to happen? Is someone knocking the door? Don't open it. I wouldn't open that. Not in a million years. Should I do next? I go to the bloody steam room or the, the, this room again. Oh, wait. I probably need to redirect it by going to the one over here, right? That would make sense. Here we go. Ah, the fuse. That's what I want. Sweet. Everybody, let's fix everything. Everything's glorious. You know, you would think playing a horror game in the early hours of the morning when this, it's daylight. This wouldn't be that stressful. Why is there a massive axe there? I could take that. I could take that. I can read this. Uh, I'm all reading. If you are reading this, which I am, I am one of the technicians here. I wanted to inform you that the circuit breaker here is not working, not only because it's broken, also because I smashed it, but also because the electrical is in this camp have reached unprecedented levels. Since the basement was built under the camp, the electrical loads have begun to increase like crazy. With every operation of devices and systems, we notice a decrease in the stability of the electricity. The circuit breaker is not able to handle these high loads, and the result is frequent outages and disruptions in the supply of electricity. Things are getting worse day by day. And this poses a ch big challenge for the technical team, so we may find ourselves in complete darkness soon if things continue like this. We are doing our best to address the problem, but it seems that the cutter needs to be improved and developed to suit those loads. All loads should be reduced by turning off electricity when not needed. If you know of any solutions, suggestions that help us improve the situation, we are waiting to hear from you. And until then, you should be prepared for sudden power outages. Just like waiting for a sudden power outage now. Who is here? Hello? Oh, the bodies are back. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, it's never a piece of paper. Finally, I found some time to write in this memo and stick it on a uh, metal fence. It has been a long and exhausting day. I had to fix some electrical equipment that broke down after the weird things that happened two days ago. But there is one thing that bothers me. 
One of the fuses that is needed for electricity efficiency has disappeared, but I have it now. I learned that the security guard took it and didn't return it. I would like to report this problem to my commander, but he's too busy preparing for the next mission. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. But until then, I'll leave this memo here in case the security guard comes back and wants to return the fuse. If anyone is reading this note, please don't mess with any of the equipment here. The equipment is very sensitive and dangerous if used incorrectly. I can't think of a logical reason for the security guard to take the fuse. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding, or maybe there's something bigger and more evil going on. I hope to find out the truth before it's too late. It's he took the fuse. Maybe it was a misunderstanding, or maybe he's evil and sinister. <laughs> it's like, okay. I go with evil and sinister, though, based on my experiences. I like beep boop. I have to go back to the control room. I think the lever is working now. Yep. Damn. There is huge pressure on electricity. I have to find a way to reduce the electricity usage. Okay, let's go back. I don't like it anymore. What a long night. Kidding me, it's been seven o'clock all the time. It's been a long morning for me. I might not get to play a second game after this. I was gonna do a second game. Another one. Oh. Is that you, Jimmy? Am I going crazy? Stay in there, buddy. We got things to do, man. This place drives me crazy. You drive me crazy. Oh, oh. That's not good. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, shit. No, don't keep, just keep running forward. Just keep running forward. Just keep running forward. Holy moly. Whoa, oh baby, I love your way every day. <laughs> oh, I love heart attacks before work in the morning. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Come on, yes. Hey, buddy. This man is suspicious. You think so? Is it safe for me to go out now? Yeah, I'm out of here. You completed the journey. Wow, that was amazing. Well, that was really good. My heart disagrees slightly. Jesus Christ, man. Holy shit. That was intense.